Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another British taste test. So let's get started. It's another box full of goodies from the UK. So these are the things that Uncle Brian has yeah. sent us. There is a letter. Hello, Tam and Tim. Hope you're both well. Here's some more treats from the capital of the world, the UK. That's calling it, Brian. Now, Brian has also given us some extras from Joseph Dobson, and we loved these so much last time. And this is the Yorkshire mix, and he's given us three packets of these. Exciting thing is, there are some more Joseph Dobson things to try today. So we'll start off with some Joseph Dobson stuff. And these are strawberry cream pips. I like the word pip. You can see what they look like, so I don't need to show you again. I think I'll get a couple of these, because they look so adorable. You can have more than one at once see look at this hello welcome welcome very very pretty very cute <laughs> I almost choked <laughs> I went down but I got it back here so I can still taste it they're nice they're not amazing but they're nice I only put one in my mouth you need so more it's than lacking that. flavor come on, I think. come on no no, no. <laughs> do you want me to feed you like a baby bird no, no. Pass. <laughs> it's got a nice strawberry and cream flavour in it. They're little tiny hard candies. I think these are fun because they're so little. You'd have to have at least three, I think, in your mouth. I've got once. five or six. Mm. So do I, unfortunately. What did you just say to me? Your tongue feels what? Glassed up. But it makes no sense. Glassed like up. it's been cut. Cut? Mm. Sliced up with like, little pips. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. I'm okay. Tim's not. Maybe we should try some savoury stuff. Okay. We have two packets of chippies and these these are salt and vinegar flavoured potato sticks from Golden Wonder. Now I've got chippies and it's chip shop curry. Yum. Okay, have a look at the little chippy sticks in there. Oh my gosh, salt and vinegar. Mine. Mm, you can have them. Look at Make that. Make my tongue go funny. Ooh, very vinegary. Yeah. Oh. oh. Man. <laughs> I love them. Mmm, mmm. It burns your tongue, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like them at all. Now they're yours. They're really strongly flavoured with vinegar. The salt is there as well, but predominantly it's vinegar. They're really good. You're having trouble talking there. Oh, I, I'm excited. That's why I'm like, <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> Chip shop curry. Oh, it smells beautiful. Nice colour. Yeah, oh, I've lost them both. How good are these? Lovely savoury flavour to them. It has got that lovely curry flavour all the way through it. Nice amount of salt. Lovely and crispy. Wow. Oh, oh look at that. What's all of this? Is this a story? I think it's like newspaper because it's wrapped the chips up oh, in. Oh, yeah. And the chips are hanging out the top. That is cool. I love that little detail. That's special. Very nice. Really great chip shop curry flavour all the way through these. Delicious. Love them. Oh, going back... For more. Since we're on the savoury treadmill, whatever that is, we're going to try some soups next. And we have four different Heinz soups. This is a vegetable cup of soup and a minestrone. Cream tomato of a kick of chilli and oxtail cup soup. Oxtail. I'm looking forward to this one, the hint of chilli. Maybe the oxtail, then the minestrone, then the vegetable. For me, I'm looking forward to the tomato one the most. Do the tomato <laughs> first then. Okay. Okay, so there's four little sachets inside each box. While you make that one, I'm going to make a vegetable one. Just throw water in. Oh, look at the back of that. Isn't that sweet? Oh, you've got to stir it and wait for two minutes. Yeah. Oh, I've got peas in it. Mine's just powder. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we'll let this sit and do its thing. Oh, it's already gotten so thick. Check that out. So thick. I think you're supposed to put 250 mils in, and these cups aren't 250 mil. What are we going to do? Pour some out? No. No, we're, we're gonna just going to have it, as it is. really strong. It does call it thick and hearty, doesn't it? Well, does it? No. <laughs> the reason why we put them in these glasses so yeah. you can see what it looks like. But now, I'm going to make up the minestrone one as well. Oh, we're going to do the whole lot. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to have a soup frenzy. Awesome. And then we can compare them all and work out which we like the most. I'll do the oxtail. This smells like an oxo beef stock. I don't know. This one has peas also, honey. Winner, winner. Peas for dinner. It looks like gravy. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I probably feel better than the ox does. <laughs> he lost his tail for this cup of soup for the ox. Shall they use the rest of him or just his tail? Just his tail. You've got blobby bits happening. No. What's on the spoon? Nothing. Is that... Nothing's on show, the spoon. Show everyone. Oh, 
So we'll let those sit for two minutes. You've got dry bits here, honey. You're not a very good stir. Oh, Show honey. everybody your dry bit that you left. <laughs> what dry bit? There's nothing there. <laughs> Show everyone where you've gone wrong. No, it's the internet. I already don't need that help. <laughs> They'll let me know. Who brought this up? He doesn't trust me. I've already used it. Right here, there was a big drip on the table. It's a shame you did that. There's the evidence of the drip. I'm going to go for the vegetable one first. I don't know how thrilled I am about this one, but it actually looks okay. Is it hot? It's all right. I mean, it's very thick. It has got quite a few vegetables in it, which is good. Is it too thick because there's not, not enough water in there? I mean, that's the thing. Where do you draw that line? What's actually considered too thick and what's hearty? Hmm. The vegetables are right in it? Yeah, I think this one's okay. I don't know if I'd get it again. You feed yourself. I don't want to feed you. It's hot, that's all. <laughs> you were scared of it. <laughs> I saw the little shudder of fear. I'm pretty weird and I do get scared of random things sometimes. I think it's alright. I play a game on Tam sometimes. I hide in the house. <laughs> I hate it. And she walks past and I go, hello. And she just <gasps> screams and drops on the floor. When Tam gets really scared, she drops on the floor. Like if someone was after, they, they've got her. She doesn't run. She just drops on the floor. <gasps> I meant below if you're a floor dropper. I'm sure there's other floor droppers out there. I just keep walking like nothing's happened, even though I'm dying inside, but I'll just pretend there's nothing's happening. <laughs> this is Tim, right? He's walking past and you go, hello there. And he goes, he could tell he's scared, but he keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a chance of getting away. Actually, I don't mind this soup. I like the thickness of it, to be honest. For an instant vegetable soup. It's got soup. Like, little noodles in it. Out of a packet. It's okay. It's pretty good. I don't know if I'd get the vegetable one again. I think you should again. try it again. I think I would. I think it's noodles. Do you? Or is it little cuts of onion or no, something? No, that's little spring onions in there. Not too bad. It's alright. Let's move on. Let's go this one. Ooh. Oxtail. All right. Oh, that's for you. Does it taste like an oxo stock cube? That's what it smells like to me. You're not selling it now, I don't want to try it. <laughs> you might like it though. To me, it tastes kind of like Vegemite soup in a glass. Do you like that? I it is very salty. I don't think it warrants the horrible face. It does. If you drank or ate all that in one go, you'd feel like you were just salted out. I love salt, right? I just, I don't know, there's too much. Beefy. It's very meaty tasting. Very meaty. Very, very meaty. Try because it again. I don't want to. I'll put some bread in it. Oh. Uh, yeah, where'd I get the bread from? It's there. I kept that quiet. Mm hmm. Hidden in plain sight. Yeah, I know. The local baker, for some reason. <laughs> And you know how hard that was to butter? Better with bread, isn't it? Because yeah. it tones it down. Can I just say too, that buttering bread is quite a challenge. And why is it a challenge? It's just a difficult task that no one really recognises. Because the butter's too hard. Butter's always too hard and the bread's really soft. You don't want to rip holes in it. This is the creamy tomato with a kick of chilli. Mmm. Mmm. You like that? I do. Taste the chilli. It's a little bit like drinking a pasta sauce. Mm. Go down and cook some pasta and tip that on it. Yeah, you're done. Actually, you could. Yeah, I'm telling you, you actually could because it's quite thick as well. Let's do it. My mum used to make spaghetti bolognese by using an instant pack of soup thing as flavouring. But they did that back in the back, 60s. Back in the day, yeah. People talk about their parents cooking and my dad used to make an amazing this, my mum used to make this, and I don't have any of those stories. I can't imagine your dad cooking anything. Oh, no. What's your favourite? So far, mm. that one. Hmm. One more to come. Minestrone. And you can see all the bits and pieces in there. Got little tiny bits of pasta in it. It's got peas, it's got a carrot in there. It's also got some little tiny chopped up bits of pasta. This is my favorite. Hmm. It's like the tomato one, but it's got a little bit more substance to it. Definitely. It's got the veggies in it. Now the pea. Try a pea. Now you can hunt all those peas out. I'm not really that keen. The, That's nice. The rehydrated vegetables in here have hydrated again very nicely. And the flavour of this one's good. Mm. This is my favourite. Then, oh, I don't know. It's a close second between these two. You've got to make a call. 
This one's second. I um, agree. The vegetable one's third, and yeah. this one, the ox tail, the ox can keep his tail. Hmm. I mean, that's the thing about these soups, that they are versatile, and you actually can use them as flavorings in casseroles and stuff. All up, though, I think these soups are okay. For a packet soup, they're pretty good. The quality of them's all right. Let us know in the comments below which your favorite is. Very marmite -y. Yes. I'm going to try a little bit of sweetness now. Pear drops from Joseph Dobson and Sons Limited. What's that word, honey? Pear jargonelle. It's made from that. They're quite big, though. Yes. You've done it again. You've made a handbag. <laughs> I do it every time, don't I? Oh, I smell good. That's what they look like. All right, this is what it looks like up close and personal. Does it look a little bit like a pear? No. no. Does it smell like a pear? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very nice. They're very Tastes big. like a pear. You wouldn't want to accidentally swallow this. Because you'd have to like... Mm, mm, I reckon it'd take an hour to, to get rid of it. If you just an hour. It. Good though for car trips. Do you choke on it? <laughs> How would you describe this flavour? Pearish? I think that they have a subtle pear flavour. They're very sweet. They are very nice. Pear drop. I'm more interested in the pear jargonelle. It's flavoured with pear jargonelle. Maybe it's a type of pear. You know how they have like... Comment below please folks. I have got it's, no idea. It's from the planet jargonelle. <laughs> I find it very sweet. Mm -hmm. A bit too big. If it's half the size, it would be better because yeah. you hold it in your mouth more comfortably. Mm -hmm. Why they need to be so big, I don't know. I will eat them again, but mm -hmm. would I go out and buy them to eat? Probably not. Next up, we've got one of Brian's favourites. I'm saying that because he sent us three packs, so he must think they're that good. I suspect too because Brian knows I like spearmint. Spearmint picked from Joseph Dobson and Sons Limited. I need to uncross my legs for this one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, She's going to try it a very special way. <laughs> red in the no, face. I think Joe. I've gone red too much. after that one. Let's have a look. Voila. So it's actually sealed up by this little sticky here. So it's easy to open. And there they are in there. The colours of them are quite pretty and magical looking. Because they're not just all one flat colour. Mm, all the colours of the world. Oh, that's nice. It's nice, isn't See? it? Brian, you knew I'd like these. They're really nice. Mm. You know where they're going to go? My side. What no. do you mean? We have a little container in the car where we put spearmint and pink paper mints. I reckon that'd be perfect for in there. Do you think they'll make it to the car? We've got three bags. Nice spearmint flavour in there. Not, not too sweet Not either. overpowering, no. Mm. Very nice. Yep, I agree with you, Tammy. Joseph Dobson's and Sons again, but it's aniseed humbugs. <gasps> do you know why they're called humbugs? No. That's what they look like. Pretty good size. Yeah. There it is. There's a stripe on it. it takes a while for the NSC flavor to get through, yeah. doesn't it? Mm. But you've got a coating on them. I think you've got to get through that coating. Because mm. the NSC within the toffee itself. Mm. But then when that flavor comes through, it's really nice. It's nicely mm. done in these. So once again, it's a hard candy. It's got a nice amount of sweetness in here. Nice amount of aniseed flavor in there as well. They're nice. Yeah, I like them. I don't know what else to say. They're nice. It's a very good balance between the sweetness and aniseed flavoring. I just realized you match a humbug. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending us all these treats. We really do appreciate mm. it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.